Reform Party leader Kenneth Jaratnam has been issued a third correction direction under the law against fake news, this time over comments made in social media posts about three issues recently in the news. They are the arrests of 10 foreign nationals during an island-wide anti-money laundering blitz, the corruption probe into Transport Minister S. Iswaran and Mr. Ong Bang Sang, and the Redout Road Property Rentals by Minister for Law and Home Affairs K. Shanmugam and Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan. The Ministry of Law Min Law said on Tuesday that Second Minister for Law Edwin Tong issued the instruction under the Protection from Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act POFMA to Mr. Jiratnam. He is required to put up correction notices on the posts he made on Facebook and X, formerly known as Twitter, on August 18. Mr. Jaratnam falsely stated that the arrests of 10 foreign nationals on August 15 for forgery and money laundering offences were a result of China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi and China putting pressure on Singapore. As stated in the police news release on August 16, they had identified the suspects through intelligence probes and extensive investigations, including the analysis of suspicious transaction reports said Min Law. These operations and the planning of the arrests had been in the works over many months. They were not at the behest or because of any foreign party. Min Law added that no foreign parties had been informed of these cases before the arrests. In his post, Mr. Jaratnam also made the false statement that the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau CPIB probe into Mr. Iswaran and Mr. Ong too, was a result of foreign pressure. The CPIB had been investigating a separate matter and came across some information concerning Mr. Iswaran, the ministry explained. CPIB then looked into the matter. These facts were stated publicly on multiple occasions, including in Prime Minister Li Xinlong and Education Minister Chan Chang Singh's statements in Parliament on August 2. PIP's press release on July 12, as well as the PM statement and Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong's doorstop interview on the same day. Min Law added. Mr. Jaratnam, in his post, also said the rental rates paid by Mr. Shanmugam and Mr. Balakrishnan for 26 and 31 Redoubt Road, respectively, were locked in over nine years. Which is untrue. Min Law said the tenancies are renewable every two or three years, and the rentals are reviewed based on prevailing market value. When the tenancies of the two properties were up for renewal after the initial three years, a revaluation was carried out by professional valuers to pack the rentals to the prevailing market rate, it added. This valuation was based on market comparables. The property at 26 Redoubt Road was renewed in June 2021. During the COVID-19 pandemic, for three years, with the rent maintained at $26,500 per month. The property at 31 Redoubt Road was renewed in October 2022 for three years, with the rent increased to $20.000 per month from $19,000 per month. Additional clarifications were also published in government fact-checking website Factually on Tuesday. Mr. Jaratnam had in the same Facebook post claimed that it took proof from German courts about F1's Ecclestone paying bribes and a British investigation into his tax issues involving a Singapore bank. For the bank to be overhauled and three other Singapore financial institutions with it, referring to former Formula 1 chief Bernie Ecclestone. The Factually article said DPM Wong had provided information on the facts in Parliament on August 2, where he stated that Singapore had proactively shared information with the British authorities to help them develop their case against Ecclestone. The Monetary Authority of Singapore MAS conducted an inspection of the bank cited in media reports to assess its controls for mitigating money, laundering and terrorist financing risks. 
as early as 2017, about five years before Ecclestown was charged, he had also shared. And while MAS found that there was room for improvement in the bank's anti-money laundering processes, it did not find gaps or weaknesses that were systemic in nature. Whenever news about Ecclestown first surfaced in 2013, MAS promptly subjected the account to enhanced monitoring controls by requiring all transactions to be flagged for scrutiny and approval. The bank addressed the specific areas identified for improvement as required, stated the factually article. This did not amount to an overhaul which in the ordinary meaning of the word would suggest that a thorough remake, renewal or revision had been necessary. Mr. Jaratnam was previously twice directed under POFMA to correct separate posts for comments made on the Redoubt Road rentals.